Sorry. Oh, EJ's EJ's rolling down his sleeves. I, I got to get. It's comfy a little here. more serious. All right. All right, uh, let's jump right into it. Welcome back. We can actually say that. Welcome back to the Welcome GDF back, yeah. podcast, the GDF pod. Um, we're back with another episode, episode two, uh, episode three-ish, three. right? But um, yeah, so we're on like three-ish, I guess. You guys can watch our previous episode. We'll link it in the description, and we can link it up here somewhere as well. Um, yeah. The Love premise it. of... This podcast is understanding couple stories and communication. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to say, how are you doing, EJ? Good to see you. Oh man, I'm doing good. Uh, it's been a week since our since we recorded our last podcast, and mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like we're uh, getting a little into uh, we're getting into the groove. Um, been editing some some of Jenna and Tim's, right? Jenna and Tim. Yeah, Tim and Jenna. Yeah, Timothy. Yeah, T- Jenna and Tim's uh, wedding video, and oh, Mason, like me and Mason are both like so stunned. Like we we start getting distracted because of how good the shots are, but but yeah, yeah. it's it's like, looking so good. We were just talking um before we just jumped on the uh, on the podcast here, and EJ was saying that um bro, it's so hard to edit this. Um, I was like, yeah. like why? Why is it hard? He goes because. The shots are so good that yeah. I just want to like color grade everything and see how it looks real quick. And if you're right. a filmmaker, like you you'll you know understand. what we're talking about, like <laughs> yeah, because you'll get to the point where it's like you you have a workflow, and our workflow is you know creating our own custom soundtrack, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Um, and when you create that custom soundtrack, you're focusing on the sound more than the visuals first. But when you're organizing everything and you start seeing shots and you start like um, taking out the shots you don't need and stuff like that, you get the shots that you need and you just can't wait to throw on a, a color grade onto it and just make it like just pop and yeah, we just get so Look distracted good. with it. Yeah, man, yeah, that it was looks, a... it, that's just because it's uh, we're so excited and about you know how how the day went and we were able to capture the thing like the things that we needed to capture so well that you know. Other than that, yeah, it's been great. What are some of the, your your favorite shots so far? Because I know EJ's actually editing this one. Yeah, we yep. take we flip flop, we take turns. So he's actually editing this yeah. one. So what are your favorite um, shots? And I'll and I'll throw them up on the screen. Uh, yeah, um, so, so just so people can yeah, see. Yeah. So it. Um, my favorite shot is a shot that Mason took. Um, while yes, sir, uh, they were yes, taking video of them, just the bride and groom. Jenna and Tim together, just the B-roll, like the backlighting and these cameras dynamic range is so, so beautiful. Like, uh, this is the shot of them both looking at each other and smiling. Actually, oh no, it's, it, it, you'll probably see the shot back here on our website. It's Oh yeah, it's on it our was homepage. good enough to where I had to update it. Like, I just, I was like, that needs yeah, to go on our exactly. page. Yeah, exactly, yep, yep. Like, before we even get yeah. the film out, like, we need that on our page right now. Yeah, so. you'll... You'll, I'm sure if you focus enough, you'll, it'll be there. Um, and then another one was their first dance. Their first oh. dance. There's yeah. There's a shot that I took of when I was orbiting, orbiting right by, right right around them. That just them looking at each other and just like it, it feels like the shot, like the way they were looking at each other was like how surreal it is to be in that moment. You know, it was that type of look, and you know, you could see it on their faces. Um, yeah, and then um, what was what really was great about shot? the wedding was um, the 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 reception was a little on the earlier side actually. Usually the ceremonies, I mean the receptions are usually a little later, and there's yeah. less lighting. But this one, honestly, I kind of like having this reception yeah. a little earlier just yeah. because you have more light, you know, to play yeah. around with. And, and I think the biggest thing that kind of was. Be, like that had a big role in that is the way that they organize their wedding where um normal weddings you know their their timeline would be ceremony you know getting ready getting ready for a ceremony ceremony happens and then from after the ceremony there's a period of time where the photographer starts getting family shots and all that and then they slowly roll into the reception this wedding was a little bit different where the the ceremony was a little bit later into the day so we can get all those shots beforehand 
but you know they had their first look so they were able to see each other beforehand so but that that kind of helps in having the ceremony reception happen right back to back um and the, the lighting looked both like great in both you know the ceremony and reception but, yeah. yeah what all right if you don't mind me asking you a question how did you feel about um just how how their their ceremony went with um how I mean it was a it was a definitely a way longer one than we than we are used yes, to the longer ceremony but, but there was a there was a bit more um audio for us to play with how did you There's like that a lot that? more audio there's a lot yeah. more audio to play with and yeah. I you know you're the one editing this so like I haven't actually gone through the audio stuff but I actually it's it was a lot longer of a it was a lot longer of a ceremony and I'll tell you that like my forearm was killing me. Yep. Literally. Yeah. Cuz I didn't yeah. actually expect the ceremony to go that long and no. my, I I think like I don't know what happened but I thought there was something wrong with my arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was something like, wrong with my arm. During after. the yeah, during the reception, Mason was like, "Man, there's something up with my arm." I'm like, "There's something." No, but it's just, <laughs> yeah. You were you were just holding that camera on so long that I was holding those muscles it. were just yeah. I was just like this. I was just like, yeah. I need to like keep it still though. And we have the we have, yeah. we're having our gimbals so we can be a little more dynamic but still smooth. Yeah. So so when you guys see those reels of videographers working out with their camera equipment, it it's needed. It really is needed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, the, the ceremony, um, it was, it was really, it was re other than the fact like my arm was kind of hurting, which is very insignificant to the fact that we got s such great audio, the yeah. officiant that was there, or the, I'm sorry, the pastor that was there and just the couple of them, the like, DJ hooking us up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah. It DJ, was, we were able to hook into the DJ's, uh, audio. So the. With the pastor was holding the microphone, and then we had musicians playing as well, so we were able to get all that audio, which was, which is perfect, you know, because we yeah, only, man, we only had so many mics, you know, and then we can only m mic up so many people. So when you're hooking up to the DJ's equipment, that you know, he already handles micing up and making sure everyone in the crowd can hear all those things. The, you know, it was perfect for us to be able to record all that audio as well. Yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff there, and I'm excited to. Um you know yeah play with that see and see how it turns out we can talk about yeah. that a little later uh, in the episode um but let's just dive right into the premise um like i said before this is the uh, this is understanding couple stories um and communication um just like last time in the last episode i'm just gonna restate oh, my mic there uh, i'm just gonna restate um j uh, like a little paragraph that i wrote that way we're all on the same page here for the audience to understand what we're talking about here so um the main focus in our films is to capture and showcase the unique story of the couples we work with. By discussing this approach with the couples before their weddings, they are able to think deeper about their own story and what they want to convey in their films while also understanding how we work and the pre-production we put into their wedding day, before their wedding day. The overarching goal with this concept is our own desire to create films that are more meaningful and memorable to the couples and their families. So that's the premise. Um, and I would like to get your your take on that, EJ, um, if if that if that made sense. Yeah, no, it made sense. Um, yeah, there was something that kind of adds to that and to something we're about to start offering is um we we kind of did a we did a couple session um interview where we were, we were able to sit down with a couple um and we were able to interview them um way before the wedding day and we kind of got an understanding about how you know just how they became to be and just a little bit more of their personal connection and i feel like we already shot the wedding just because we understood their their relationship, you know, yeah. and how they got into that point. And, um, yeah, it's it's almost like you're excited for the wedding day because you saw, you know, the the downsides, the upsides, you know, just the little things in their relationship that, you know, they how they grew so much um, and how meaningful this wedding day is going to be for them, you know. Um, and I feel like us being able to uh, be able to communicate with you guys and the our couples beforehand as much as possible um just just helps convey you know the story behind the wedding film because 
you know the wedding film is yes it's it's capturing that that day but it's also you know part of your guys' story of you, you guys being a couple you know and we we try to make it so that day is like just kind of what's the word you know kind of just celebrating that that you guys just cup your relationship up to that point you know and if we can have those moments where you know your mom and your sister or whatever starts saying memories of those past like you know the past memories of your relationship it just it makes the wedding film that much more meaningful yeah you know it's you brought up a good point and like first of all like don't get don't get me started on that freaking couple session story session we're not sure what we want to call yeah. it yet but like just basically just getting an interview yeah of you the couples we pre uh pre-wedding day don't get me started on that bro like that yeah it's that it's gonna stuff, be such a good video yeah it's i can't wait i believe we are shooting the rest of that wedding in march and yeah. right now we're shooting this in december and i can't wait we've already gone yeah. through some of the footage and looked at it and it's it's something that is, again, like what we were saying in the last episode of Kenzie and Luke's film, kind of be a staple in like our brand and what we want to do as a company mm -hmm. within this space. That film I already can see is going to be, it's going to be something that we're going to be like, okay, this is, this is something that we really want to push and want to do. But right. um, what you, you brought up a really good point. It's almost not just like, it's almost not just for them. Like it's almost like us. It's it's like we're meeting the couples and we know their story before the event, and it almost makes it more memorable for us as it just does. the videographers. I yeah, do. it does. It's that's that's um that's pretty cool though, because on the wedding day, it's where like some of our and and this goes on with the the whole premise here is like I feel like in some of our previous uh, films that we did. Um, which we, you know we enjoy to this day, but it was really just going there, filming filming them, meeting the couple right there, and maybe we got on one or two calls with them prior, not even. Right. And we just show up and film, and I think now, like with Kenzie and Luke's film, we were able to talk to them a little more, and I think the kind of revision or the next steps within our brand, what we're doing, is just really creating those meaningful relationship relationships with our couples. And that's why just mm -hmm. asking them questions and getting them involved in, with us and our brand, and like trying to relay and to, like have them convey things on the wedding day and have them, have us just know more about them. It just makes the film right. so memorable for them because yeah. we yep. know more information about them. And then we know what questions to ask. And it's just it, the day is so much more smoother when we're like friends with the couple. We know them beforehand. And mm -hmm. yeah, like it makes us and they know makes the, it memorable the role they're playing in the video, you know. Yes, they're they're like the main characters in the movie, but they they know like the communication they had with us is gonna be a big part and a big help for us being able to capture those you know those little bit like more intimate moments on that day. And then something that that you kind of were about to say and something that a thought came in is like being able to communicate with our couples beforehand and get to know their story a little bit more is like also helps us in the editing process because um, if you just go to the wedding the day of, you meet the couple and you, you know, capture everything that you need to capture, it's almost like you're creating the story in the editing. But when you c communicate and you get to know the story ahead of time, it makes the editing process so much more easier because we already, we already know the story, you know? We're just being able to put the videos and all those moments a little bit more together to be able to show you guys that story, you know? So being able to just to communicate and get to know, you know, the story before the wedding day, just, uh, it just makes the whole story come together and yeah. instead of just trying to come up with those, you know, there's only so much things that the couples and there's only so much things that are said during the wedding day that can, give you a story to like to film but being able to know a little bit more is, is so helpful like yeah if you're a videographer and you um are trying to elevate your your films like just communicate with the couples beforehand like i can't i can't express that enough like that'll help you so much you you won't even understand until you do so yes uh talking beforehand with the couple 
it, it makes it a lot easier in the editing phase. I agree mm-hmm. because yeah. it's almost like we're not just we're not just um, piecing together audio yeah. that is just like you know like we're just piecing together random stuff. It's almost like we know them as a as people. We know what they were before the wedding day and them coming together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like I said in the last video, your wedding day is not is your wedding day is is not just the day itself. It is a collection and series of events that happen before your wedding day as you as a couple and then you separately. And your wedding day is just an excuse for us to film that. We getting to know all that stuff and you guys coming together in the editing phase when we're when you're you're going through all the audio and we're trying to curate and like in and like what EJ is trying to listen like for that soundtrack. story before. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. oh, okay, she was talking about this beforehand when she was on a call with yep. us. Oh, he did that. Okay. We can put this together here and it just allows us mm-hmm. to make something a little more memorable that can right. just really test time to where their kids and, you know, grandkids can be right. like, oh, I, that's what their story was. That's what they were trying to do. And right. it, it goes on to, um, like us just listening before and then on the wedding day, like one thing mm-hmm. that Tim and Jenna, um, Tim had a really bad ski accident. Right. We so that's listening. showing, that's showing like the, the, the good parts of the relationship and the parts that, you know, weren't the best versus without us knowing that it almost makes the wedding film. Okay. It gets better. It gets better. First kiss gets better. First dance gets better, better, you know, beautiful wedding day, you know? And versus having those, you know, those um, those bad moments kind of make it a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions. I it, it it's able, it makes it more like a movie, you know, because a movie is not just things get better and better, and better and better, and you know that's the end of the movie. No, it's not like that, and neither is life, you know. So being able to show those parts, you know, those good parts of the relationship and the things that you know. You know, they had to fight through to be able to make their relationship stronger. You know, if you put that in your film, it makes it so much more meaningful to not just the couple you're shooting for, but, you know, the family, because they're also part of that that relationship as well. So yes. being able to, you know, being able to show the down the downsides of relationship and the good parts of relationship in that day, it's it's so right. It's so and, critical, yeah. And don't think we're we're talking about like like legit like arguing or stuff like that. We no, we're, we just mean like within life, there's always going to be some type of conflict or something. Mm-hmm. And like we said exactly. in the previous video, like one of the biggest conflicts right now with within um, couples was the fact during COVID they couldn't see each other for a while, mm-hmm. or some people they met during COVID and they couldn't see each other. Uh, so that's like another kind of conflict. And for them, you know him almost like it, it, from what the speech was telling us like from the the brother giving the speech it was almost somewhat like life threatening is what the yeah. ski accident was and it it yeah. creates that emotion because faith was such a big role with them and like how they were as a couple mm-hmm. for them to relay that in the speeches and even afterwards I was getting an interview of the couple and then like kind of just enforcing the fact that they are a very faith-based couple and mm-hmm. them just getting out of, you know, you know, the skiing accident and this and that, it just, it really adds to the film, makes it more memorable. Mm-hmm. And it, like I said, it tests time. Um, one more thing that, um, another thing that I was going to add on, on uh, understanding couple stories, but then also the communication front. Uh, one of the biggest things for us is just telling the couples beforehand, like what our style is and what we like to do. Because mm-hmm. quite honestly, like that might not be everyone's cup of tea because, we like to talk to you beforehand and let you know, like during, like we we try to get as much audio beforehand as we can before the ceremony. That way, yep. you guys can you know say things in private or like for example the story sessions that we're doing. We like to get enough um, audio and enough footage of you actually conveying something memorable and something that you want to last within your film. So, con like having that conversation with the couples beforehand and just preparing them to be like hey maybe maybe in between this time when you're doing the first look or let's say you do a first touch like say you know what are you going to say to your fiance before that what are you going to say to your fiance before the ceremony after the ceremony do you want to do a quick interview afterwards that way we can get some more uh more audio from you more uh like the experience what you're experiencing in that moment right it just adds so much to the film yeah Mm -hmm. and it, it 
it it like what I said in the last video, like photos pause time, but videos allow you to revisit that. And I think audio and being able to have couples say things just makes it more of a film and makes you really relive the past. You know, like this is what yeah. I said on my wedding day. This is how I felt on my wedding day. And it makes you want to just eager to watch that film every year because you're like, remember yeah. that part when you did this? Remember that part when you did that? And like, remember what you said about me? And like, it just, it, it, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. And yeah. like I said, communication, talking to couples beforehand. And, you know, our films will hopefully at a point be stylized enough where couples will come in. And this is to filmmakers as well. If you if you shoot what you want to shoot and edit how you want to edit, couples will see that. And couples that like your work, they will book with you because of your style and what you want. Yep. Um, that's kind of the goal with our brand and what we're trying to do, what we're trying to push. So yeah, um, cup, uh, communication beforehand, and if you want to add anything to that, EJ. Um, yeah, I'll, I would like to say something to like the the filmmakers um, out there that like just I I already said this earlier, but just communication. Um, yes, it's gonna help you, you know, create that story and create your film better, but it also on the business side of it, it it's more of a personal connection, you know. Um, sometimes like just as like consumers, like we're still consumers of other things, but, um, if we see a, like a videographer or a product or a company that we like, you know, we seem like, oh, they're so busy, you know, they may not be able to, you know, talk to me or have these, like answer these questions. But when a couple comes to you or, um, us and we're able to communicate with them and answer their questions right away or say, Hey, Let's devote time. Let's set. Uh, we'll set some time out of our day to be able to just sit down with you guys and talk to you know, gather any and or answer any information from you guys that you guys are just thinking. It allows the couples to feel a little bit more comfortable with their decision, you know, because a wedding film and a wedding day it's very expensive. You know, they they really want to make sure that they're they're spending the money in places that you know, are worth it. And if you're able to just sit down and devote time to your couples, it's it's just gonna make um your your time seem a lot more value, but you're valuing their time as well, you know. So being able to answer those questions and communicate to your couples is very important as uh, not just a business, um, but just you know, just taking taking their time and, you know, you know, valuing their time as well because they they got a life to live and we got a life to live you know if we can make both of our times seem valuable and you know we don't want to take up time and if you shoot a wedding film and you don't you know you just send them the video you know they like oh man we we wasted all that money you know and we want we want our couples to seem like or feel like they could have spent double the amount of money and still be just as happy you know because it's it's all in the value and what you yeah. offer yeah. Yeah. The like you EJ and I both have a price point that we'd like to be at in, you know, a couple mm -hmm. years and like you know have that 5 or 10 year plan for the business. Yep. But the weddings that we're shooting out and the price point we're at now, we still treat them as though they're double or triple the price. Exactly. And that's just just delivering that value and trying to be a premium deliver that premium experience to the couples. Right. Um one of our like when a when a when a client is booking with us now, I have this page that will pop up and it literally just say hey we're a transparent group of people we want to be the least stressful vendor you have to deal with and we want to almost be like a delight when you talk to us like we don't we want to answer those questions we want to be transparent we want to help you through the exactly. process um and then what you mentioned was really great was other than the fact that be, being more personable with the couples will make a better film but then also, yeah. if you think it from like a business standpoint and your brand, like to the filmmakers out there, like yeah, and your customers, yep, you are you are creating that premium premium experience when you are personal. If you really think about it, because mm -hmm. if you're not just treating a client as a number or a couple as a number, like instead of calling them a client, call them the couple, call them their people that are booking with you. Yeah. It, it's it creates a premium experience and they're more likely to refer you and just have a more pleasant experience with you right because even it wasn't that just a video call, it was an experience you know? yeah yeah even even that first call you have with them like just having some personal touches to there asking them questions that aren't just about the money like 
it really creates that premium experience and they might be more likely to, you know, to book with you. So right. on the business standpoint, like it's great to show for your brand, but then like it will make a better film. Like it's really just a win-win. Like there's not really a right. downside of being more personable and asking more questions. Unless the couple like doesn't honestly just, some couples, you know, maybe they're fine with just booking somebody and just having it at that. And, you know, right. that's fine for some people, but for for others that might not be the case and if you want to deliver a more premium experience like i think yep. that's 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 the way to uh that's the way to do to it go. so yeah um i'm trying to think of anything else i can add to understanding couples stories and communication trying to think of anything else if not we can move to the next topic which yeah let's move uh, on um the next topic is what is your favorite time at a wedding from a filmmaker perspective but then mm -hmm. also as a guest perspective I okay. think those two might be different. So think of yourself as a guest at the wedding and think of yourself as a filmmaker at mm -hmm. the wedding. I'll let you go so, first. Uh, you want me to go first? I got you. Yeah, yeah. You go okay, first. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go first. So uh, I thought a little bit about this and it might change, you know, as we do more weddings. But mm -hmm. from, I'll say from a filmmaker perspective, I would say like my favorite time at a wedding. Actually, this could be in two parts. So my favorite Couple time at shots. a wedding as a film filmmaker perspective as like getting shots is probably the couples, like after the ceremony yep. or like the couple session, like mm -hmm. not the couple sessions, but the, the couple shots is yep. probably like one of my favorite times. Yep. And I'm usually the one that like, like I'll see EJ and I'll be like, hey, I, I got to go. I got to go. I got to get the couple shots, you know? Mm -hmm. and I feel like yep. EJ gets jealous because like I'm always going over here getting these shots. And then he's color grading. He's like, damn, bro, I should have got that shot. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Those are, that's probably my same favorite here. shot as the filmmaker. As a filmmaker. Yeah. Same here because it, it allows us to be, you know, that filmmaker we, we always were, you know, before videographer or being a, a wedding videographer, just, being able to grab a, a nice shot, you know, and a shot that, you know, you can be proud of. I feel like those shots are like, one, they're very cinematic. And two, you know, all the, the knowledge that you have and just as a filmmaker, all that comes to that one point and that one time and grabbing that shot. Uh, just those are the, like the, the shots that you remember the most. You right. Know, just their smile. And, you know, you're also capturing a moment as well. I, I love those those. I don't what I don't know what they're called couples. I just call them oh it's like <laughs> solos like we like usually call them like solo shots where the it's solo just shots the couple yeah it's just a couple and nobody else and we go basically like mainly getting those golden hour shots and and, yeah. and whatnot so yeah I would say that's probably like my favorite favorite thing to do as a filmmaker at the wedding same here as a guest I would say probably probably just the the reception time i yeah. like the reception time as a guest because everyone's dancing right. and having fun and yeah there's food you know <laughs> the, yeah the, there the is, food is yeah, nice that's right there is food um but i think the the part that i i agree with you the reception i feel like the thing that also adds to that is because the reception i feel like there's a lot less stress on the videographers us oh yeah and the photographers of you know the first kiss it's coming up you're very stressful but during the reception it's not, you know, that moment already happened and everyone's just enjoying their time together and, you know, with their family and their, you know, the the family interacting with us, you know, I feel like means a lot because it's like they see our part of that, that day and, you know, how we're a part of that wedding and they make us feel so, you know, invited and a part of that day. Just being able to communicate with some people, you know, the sister, the brother, you know, just being able to communicate just being part of that day with everyone else, you know, it's just, I feel like that I find that time a little bit like very, very valuable, you know, if I was a guest, but also, you know, us being a guest at their wedding, being videographer. Yeah. During, uh, I, that brings up a good point though. Almost something else is what are, I feel like photographers and videographers like have their own stresses. Yeah. At a wedding day. Um, yeah, that's one true. thing that, I enjoy as a videographer, like, like as not like as something that's less stressful for us is getting certain shots. Like we're not really required to get certain shots, if that makes sense. Right. Like we don't have to get yeah. a family There's not a shot, shot list for us. There's yeah. not really a shot list for us. You know, we're kind yeah. of just like, we're kind of like just, you know, the photographer sometimes sends, sends us the schedule 
And then we're just kind of like, okay, we have to get the first look or the first touch. Uh, father's doing this thing. And then um, in the ceremony. The most stressful thing for us is just like micing people up and figuring out who's talking, who's doing this thing. And who um, wants to be mic'd up. Yeah, what, what's the best shot for this? What's yeah. doing that? And I, I feel like the uh, another thing is stressful for us is the ceremony. The ceremony can be stressful because we're not just out there, you know, shooting each shot, right? We have a continuous feed happening constantly. So we get the mm-hmm. entire ceremony and we're moving and getting shots and, and like different angles. And, you know, like we can't just pull it out and take a picture. We have to actually move and do slider shots, you know. But then mm-hmm. couples right after the ceremony are completely stressed out because they have to get all these people together in this amount of time. Uh, to get all these shots, so I I think we have our own stresses in our own right. Oh, hundred percent. You know, so, and I think but, that I mean, that's that's probably a, a topic we can kind of save for another podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll we'll probably get a video, a photographer on here, and you know, just get a, a perspective. You know, the differences and the similarities of, you know, the videographers on the f- wedding day and the photographers on the wedding day. Yeah, I think that'll be great. Um. That'll be a great uh, other episode and stuff like that. Yeah, in the 100%. next episode, I also want to talk about uh, our missed filters for the the filmmakers yeah. out okay. there. That'll be that'll be a fun episode right. to talk about yeah. that. Perfect. Um, that's kind of all I had today. I didn't have perfect that much. We're leaving it off with the cliffhangers on the other episodes. Yes, yes, leaving off the cliffhangers. Yeah. Um, just to wrap everything up, of course, I'm Mason. This is EJ. Uh, yep. this. This video is sponsored by us. We are Mm -hmm. a wedding film company based here in South Florida. And yeah, we, this is, if you've heard anything in this podcast, um, you know, I guess you kind of know how we work and what our style is. And if you're a couple Mm -hmm. out there that is looking for a wedding videographer, consider us. Uh, You can go to our website, goldendayfilms.com. It'll be linked everywhere on this, in the description, our Instagram. We have a TikTok now. So, yeah, um, we'll be more than happy to schedule a call with you and talk with you. Um, Mm -hmm. I think anything else I can wrap up with. Oh, leave comments down below of other topics you want us to watch. Like this video. The fact that you even clicked on our faces and listened to just a little bit of this means so much to us. It does. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I feel like you hear that a lot, but now being in that position, it does does really mean a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you hear people annoyingly say like and subscribe, it's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, like there's a like and subscribe, man. but <laughs> the fact that you guys watched us means a lot. Yeah. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you next time, all right? All right. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend, EJ. And to all you right. guys, whatever day it's on, if it's Friday mm-hmm. or if it's Saturday, I don't know. You know, happy Or it's wo- Monday whatever. morning. I don't know. Or Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. That's yeah, what's it, up. Is, is, it is December that's coming up, so. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. See you next Peace time. out. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we did it the last episode too.